we're in Gozo. Good morning from Malta. My name is Ivana, and today we are going to explore the island Gozo. Gozo? Gozo. 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 <laughs> I am such a Dutchie. Gozo. <laughs> the first site that we're visiting are. Gigantia temples here in Shara, which is the yeah. best village on Gozo. I'm from Shara, that's why I'm <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the oldest Free temple in the world. In the world, Free yes, exactly. It's even older when compared to the pyramids, older than Stonehenge, older than any other temple site that you can actually imagine. That's here on Gozo. This is the main altar yeah. over here, Look right at the in front of you. Decoration. It seems like they wanted to this. highlight this part. Within ah. the temples, the Sancta Sanctorum, the Holy of Holies. One thing very specific to Malta is that there is such a rich history over here. And our next stop is going to be the Calypso Cave. It has a beautiful view over Ramla Beach. It's a red sand beach and one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And Calypso, Audrey, can you explain yes. about Odyssey? Um, Gozo was also referred to as the island of Calypso. Calypso was this beautiful nymph yeah. who gave refuge to the poor Ulysses, Odysseus, Odyssey. for seven yeah. long years. You yeah. can read about all that in the uh, Odyssey, which was yeah. written by Homer. So we just saw that Ramla Beach from the top and now, boom! Gorgeous. Red sand beach, crystal clear water. <laughs> well, that's some clear water, man. Now it's really nice because it's getting so hot to just be in the water. Audrey told me the further you go down in the ocean, the more sandy it becomes. But the first part is always pebbles, and over there it becomes more sandy. We're going to return to Ramla later because <laughs> there's going to be some swimming involved. But right now this looks absolutely stunning. Such a beautiful view for a lunch. It's such a pleasure to have lunch here at this restaurant. Look at this view. Wow. And Audrey is having pasta, right? Yes, exactly. Nice, looks delicious. And I'm having caponata, which is basically ratatouille, so lots of vegetables and beans, love it. Awesome lunch with an awesome view. Mm. In Malta, they know how to eat, my friends. This is our second course. I thought that was it, like the first course. No, <laughs> no, no. Yes, definitely. So I have quinoa with vegetables and um, roasted eggplant with tomato sauce. This makes me very happy, my friends. Mm. Dessert. What is this? A cheesecake or lemon cheesecake? Lemon cheesecake. Okay. Mm. It's very different. It's more creamy. It's very slightly lemony. Not too much. It's nice. Audrey's filming, guys. The new oh. camera woman. <laughs> and finally, finally, with this amazing hot weather, I'm going to swim in the ocean. It's been a long time. In the sea. In the sea. In the sea? Because we ocean? don't have any oceans here. Okay, see, so. see, see, Audrey is a really good guy. She yep. knows everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but okay. geography and biology. Oh, oh, look at this beautiful, gorgeous water. This is hot. Oh, this is cold. This is coming from the heat. But it's so nice to pull off, guys. Ah. I'm probably going to lose my sunglasses, but F it. Okay. Come on, get in the sea, Two. get in the ocean. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Mermaid is happy. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Let me throw up again. Girl. There are a couple of guys here on the boat. And they're like, what the F is this mermaid doing? The mermaid does not care. Bless you, Audrey. <laughs> You're welcome. Come. Audrey already said that, like, you can swim in the bay. It's a bay, right? Yes, it's a bay. Yeah, but I was like, no, beach, la 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 la. Until I saw this, and I was like, yes, we're swimming in the bay. There is no sand. In fact, it's all rocky, so it is uh, a bay, but it's a very beautiful bay. Yep, yeah, it's gorgeous. But it's such a pleasure to swim here. It's like an outdoor swimming pool, actually, because they have the steps and everything. 
the ladder, actually, and the steps are over there. Winning in life. Okay, guys, see you later. Ale! This was absolutely phenomenal. It's like jumping into a natural pool and this is even better because the salty water is good for your skin and everything. Oh my goodness, Audrey. Vitamin C, right? A vitamin, vitamin C. C, definitely. Unfortunately, it's already time to go back to Malta, but I think I'm gonna take another dip in the ocean or the sea, actually, the sea. <laughs> See, teaching me, educating me this one. Very smart. Uh, when we get back to the hotel. Oh, this was nice. At the Gozo terminal again, and we're gonna say bye to Audrey. Bye, bye honey. It was a pleasure. It was to such a pleasure. Yes, Gozo. I really, really enjoyed your company. Not, you. not just as a guy, but also as a person. So, Thank guys, you. I really Thanks hope you enjoyed. Hang out with Audrey too. Thank you, Val. Thank you for everything. That's, that's, the, that's the only <laughs> word I speaking know. Dutch, speaking Dutch. Dutch. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. See you next time. And I come to Malta. I asked Audrey to drop me off at the ferry terminal a little bit earlier because... Okay, so first, Crunch Blast. Hell yeah, I want that. Where is it? Wait, what did I do to it? This, this. Do you see this? This is mother flipping dairy milk jelly popping candy ice cream. What? What is life? I need this one and I need this one in my life because I love both of them. Flake, this is not the time, my friend. These two, these two have my heart. OMG, 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 this exists and I'm about to try it. My life is about to be complete. Where can I sit? The best chocolate ever. Best high street chocolate, I should say. In an ice cream. In an ice cream. What? <laughs> to be very, very fair, the chocolate is not as good as the... No, the ice cream is not as good as the chocolate. The chocolate is definitely better. Like, a lot better. I would not buy the ice cream again. I'm just gonna do a quick nap before I start editing the video for tomorrow. I think it's gonna be, uh, well, the first vlog that's late because I will have to post it when I get back home. I don't know if the Wi-Fi here is fast enough and also if I will have the energy to finish it, to be very fair. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry about that, but we'll talk later. Right now I have to take a nap. Yay, managed to finish the vlog for tomorrow. I'm currently uploading it. But I don't know if the hotel Wi-Fi is strong enough, otherwise I'll just upload it tomorrow. But I'm just happy that that's done. My pickup for the airport is gonna be here in five hours. So I'm off to bed, that fluffy place over there. Tomorrow I'm just flying at 7 a.m. and I'm probably gonna spend the whole day sleeping because I'm so tired. Malta absolutely blew my mind. I am completely in love with this island, with Malta and with Gozo. I really hope you enjoy this too and I really hope one day we get to come back and explore more of it because it's there's just too much to see even though it's a small place there's just too much too much in terms of nature in terms of fun you know clubbing restaurants Maltese food wow wow I have no words it really took me by surprise loved it I really hope you enjoyed these vlogs too if you did put a thumbs up our next stop is going to be India and in the meantime, when I'm at home, I won't be vlogging. I think I'll make a separate video about that, why that is. But in the meantime, if you would like to travel along to India, click that subscribe button and then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.